guys welcome back to my channel today i will be filming a um first impressions of this u part wig that i am currently wearing from big trap hair i have been natural for i want to say seven years now i think i just came up on seven years in april and for about maybe four of those years a little more actually I have been wearing um, curly hair extensions to blend with my own natural hair my hair ha is still on its own personal journey with issues that it needs to work out that I am helping it along with <laughs> um, so I do like to wear extensions um, in the meantime, in between time, basically. Well, first I started off with wearing sew-ins with leave out, but I quickly realized that wearing kinky, um, high maintenance hair extensions um, was just as much work as um, doing your own hair. And so I had, it came to a point where I, I have, was having to wash my extensions every single day because nothing that I did um, would allow them to look as good as they did the next day. So the sleeping situation is why I had then decided to move to clip-ins. Instead of sleeping in the hair, I would be able to just take it out, you know, twist my own hair, and then wake up and put the clip-ins in. And so that worked out for me and then ever since then that was 2016 ever since then i have been obsessed with wearing clip-ins even when i blow my hair out i do have like a um <clears throat> i do have like natural extensions that would blend in with my hair like a yakky type texture and clip-ins because i'm obsessed i love them but after three years of wearing clip-ins i've decided that i am over it it is too much work. So I'm like, you know what? I'm but I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna get a U part wig. And so I decided to order from Big Chop Hair. I had been looking at a few different companies and when it came down to it, I don't know why. Oh I did forget to mention that this um company Big Chop Hair is um owned by black women and based in New York and that was a huge deciding factor when I decided to purchase from this company because I love to support black business especially black woman business because we need to support each other so I did purchase this um, wig it is the actually let me make sure I have the exact info for you guys I still have all my packaging and everything to show you yeah, so this is the cor corkscrew curl U-part wig in 18 inches. And I will say, I think it's important for me to say this, is that I, I did cut off about two inches of this hair. I, when I, I shaped it myself and I pulled like, like this and cut. So like, I've cut like this much hair around. Because when I was purchasing this wig i had been deciding on a length because i had 18 inch clip-in extensions previously which i had cut to make them look better i cut them a lot actually but and they were really long and i, I kind of didn't want to go for that super long look again but i could not tell from the photos on um the big chop hair instagram excuse me or from the videos that i guess some influencers had made i could not tell honestly like what an 18 inch would look like i saw a picture on their instagram and a, a woman they said she had an 18 inch and it was like this it was like cut off basically that much of what i have now it came up like high and i'm just like that doesn't seem like 18 inches but i think what they do like normal people would do is you have to cut the hair and shape it by the time you do that that hair is not 18 that wig is not 18 inches anymore you know so it's a little bit of a false advertisement i will say because it does it is like i think maybe a 40 or 50 dollar difference between a length price anywho i purchased this wig it cost me it actually cost me 341 dollars and 50 cents because i used the curls and couture 
um, discount. The original price of this wig is $390, which I guess is a bit pricey, but I, I, I personally don't think that's expensive in, in terms of like a wig and hair that you're gonna wear on your hair every single day. You know, you wanna buy good quality hair if it's something you wanna keep for a while. Like the last clippings I had, I bought early 2017 and I've worn them into the ground and they're still usable. So the hair did come um, in this plastic bag, just like a regular Ziploc plastic bag this wig came in that was inside of my, you know, priority mail uh, shipping. And it, it was one day shipping, which was very interesting to me because um, I was under the impression that it would take seven to 10 business days I assumed that um, U-part wigs were custom made, like per order, which just from what I've read online. And so I actually think that the wig that I have was a return or was not even a return or was a wig that somebody had ordered and then didn't follow through and purchase. So I do not think that normally they ship their hair out, U-part wigs out ready with one day shipping because it's not noted on their site that that's the case. So I do think that this was a previous purchase and that's also why I'm not um, sold on the fact that this head cap was an extra small. I think they just kind of sent me a U part wig they had already made available. So that was a little, I mean, I'd, I'd prefer to be like informed of this information. I don't know that that's even the case, mind you, but still, it was very odd. It made me very skeptical. Um, when the wig did come, I was just kind of like, is this, is this authentic hair? Is this like, I don't know. It, it just made me very, very skeptical, basically, because it wasn't custom made and was ready to ship the next day after I ordered it. So I do have footage that I will insert. Um, that does show the hair when it's fresh out of the package. When a child is just a child, he did not know what it was. Like a child, it had no habits, no opinions about anything. Maybe I will get a job. Okay, guys, so I am currently washing my hair from Big Chop Hair. Um, I will say it does have that that smell. You know what I'm talking about? That hair smell that I've I only actually normally smell on like poor quality hair. But we will see. I mean, it, it seems okay. I've shampooed it twice with two different shampoos, and the smell the smell is still there. I'm gonna condition it now. Also, another thing, it came, it looks like this. This is straight out of the package and I'm washing it tonight. Um, and it came out of the package. It doesn't have like the bands that you part wigs normally have that you cut yourself. I don't know if that's normal for this brand or not. But that was interesting for me to see, but again, I don't know if all you part wig companies do that. So yeah, we'll see. I'm going to, also, I just ran my fingers across it and I had this as shedding. If you can see that, it's, it's literally just like it pulled off, like one, like from head to end, this just like pulled off. It wasn't like some shedding from detangling. I've just been shampooing it and I haven't actually detangled it yet. So that, again, this is making me a little bit skeptical, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna detangle it now. Once I put it in, and we will see.
Um, so since that night I had the next day I went out and bought black hair dye because I realized that that the hair was very brown um, It was definitely like I don't, I don't know the colors maybe a two is that like a, a brown dark brown? It wasn't 1b for sure. It was lighter than 1b and I do have like a jet black hair because I, I recently I dyed my hair like a month ago um, jet black so it was not gonna blend in with my leave out and the fact that my leave out is already much shorter than this hair I couldn't risk um not dyeing it just to leave it in its natural state because then it just would not have blended whatsoever and the main reason that I like to wear and that I have been wearing um these type of textures <coughs> excuse me I have been wearing these type of hair textures for years is because I like my hair to look like it grew out of my head. If I'm gonna wear extensions, they're gonna look like they came from me, my scalp. Like I mentioned earlier, even when it's straight hair, I don't get that silky Indian, um, Brazilian, Colombian, whatever type of textures that they're selling out there that do not look like they came from my head. I just, it's just not my thing. If that's your thing, that's cool. But I don't like to look like I'm wearing, I want people to guess I'm wearing weave. And so it's funny because most people don't know that I even wear extensions. So this video, I'm basically exposing myself <laughs> um, because I've been wearing these clip ins that I had for so long and sew-ins for so long of like um, big curly hair so yeah um, back to big chop hair so it came in that this plastic bag which I mean it could have come in a little nicer packaging I do think so myself I have never had I've actually never had hair come in a plastic bag I most have had hair come in those silky um, drawstring bags I still have them, they're like reusable. I'm not gonna put my wig back in this plastic bag. I'll actually probably use one of my other hair bags. Um, and then it came with this um, little cute card. It says Big Chop Hair Extensions. And then, I love the picture on here. And then the back um, looks like this. And it has all your instructions on how to wash the hair, some extra information how to deal with the hair overnight, and extra tips and advice. And I, like I will say, when I dyed this hair, I use the same dye that I, I use all the time for my other extensions and my own hair. And it did make my hair, this extensions, it made it less soft than normal, which usually isn't the case that I have. I use like Garnier, the 60% oil, um, like black hair dye. And yeah, my hair isn't as soft as when I first washed and conditioned it. So, but I will say it's still soft. It still looks great. And um, yeah, I still love it. I definitely had to, um, to shape it though. When you get hair in like such a long length, you have to shape it to kind of frame your face. I might even go back, maybe I won't. I might even go back and do a little bit more just to help my shorter hairs to blend a little tiny bit better. You know, the wind might blow, then my hair will be stuck sticking out and not blending. But for now, I think it's doing pretty good. I'm very happy with my purchase, I will say that. I don't want, I don't want it to seem like I'm being negative. I, I, I do love the hair. So also in the pack with my that came with my wig, I got this Style Factor Edge Booster. It has extra shine and strong hold with natural lanolin and castor oil. Um, I thought that was a nice little touch to add edge control um, to my package with my product. I've n actually never gotten something extra before with a purchase. And it smells really good. 
I will say that. Um, I just used it. I already had, though, Eco Styler Gel on my edges already, but I think it still has a, a really good hold. Um, this is my first impression of this hair. This isn't like um, a review. I don't have review. I just have my first impressions. I will definitely come back to you guys though. Um, so leave any questions you have in the comments. I can come back in a week and answer some questions that you might have about this hair. Let you know how it's been holding up. I'll definitely probably have washed it again by then. Um, I will be taking this off every evening. Um, I don't intend on sleeping in it, but I might sleep in it one night with a a huge, um, a big bonnet, or I might like try to do like a pineapple up top um, with a head wrap and let you guys know how it holds up that way. Just for some of you who might want to sew this down um, to your head and um, and fluff it out the next day and go. I'll see if that works with this hair texture. It has, like, again, is the corkscrew curl. This is what it looks like. I do have 4A, 4B hair, and I think this, this blends well with my hair, again, with the twist out method, the flat twist out method that I used. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more videos. Thanks again so much. Bye babes.